Hundreds of protesters descended on the U.S. Supreme Court Saturday to denounce the justice's decision to overturn the half-century-old Roe v. Wade precedent that recognized women's constitutional right to abortion. The crowd featured both abortion rights supporters my body, my and anti-abortion activists. <laughs> Meanwhile, tensions were high at Mississippi's sole abortion clinic. The Jackson Women's Health Organization, nicknamed the Pink House because of its bubblegum colored paint, was named in the Supreme Court case. The clinic was still operating Saturday morning but is set to close in nine days. Both supporters of abortion rights and those that want to see them curtailed were looking ahead to what comes next. We need to work in states like New York and Colorado and New Mexico, those places that have really liberal abortion laws in California and whatnot. We, do, we need to be working there. I think Clarence Thomas made it pretty clear in his opinion that this is just the beginning of the rights they want to take away. U.S. President Joe Biden said Saturday his administration would look to police how states enforce bans and signaled that the White House will fight attempts by states to ban a pill used for medication abortion. A decision is uh, implemented by states. My administration is going to focus on how they administer and whether or not they violate other laws, like deciding to not allow people to cross state lines to get public health services. And when asked if he thought the Supreme Court was broken after the Roe decision and a recent one on gun rights, he had this to say. I think the Supreme Court has made some terrible decisions. The court's ruling is at odds with broader public opinion. A recent Reuters Ipsos poll found that about 71% of Americans said the decisions about terminating a pregnancy should be left to a woman and her doctor and not regulated by the government. 26% of respondents polled said abortion should be legal in all cases, while 10% said it should be illegal in all cases, with the majority supporting some limits.